Uh, Mr. Tulsin, we have another caller, and this is Mr. Om Prakash from Delhi. Mr. Om Prakash, what is your query? Yeah, I just want to know that ki, what is going to happen in uh, from next uh, month or uh, uh, two months, uh, the future of this company, and uh, government or CV is going to take any rescue action for this incident? What happens today? I think the government is already on this job. SEBI has already is dispatching their probe team tomorrow morning. And in fact, all the agencies from the government, whether state or central, they are on this job. And I do not think that the affairs of the company can just come to grinding halt because ultimately the future of 53,000 employees are there, even the credibility of the country as well as the overseas business. So all are at its stake. And I think the, the government is all uh, concerned and uh, uh, realizes all these things. So... Let's hope that things are reaching to a logical con conclusion and we will see the continuation of the Satyam affairs. Yeah. All right. Uh, and Mr. Tulsin, we also have uh, some more investors talking to us. Listen to what they had to ask and what they were saying earlier. My name is Siddharth Kuawala. I am a stock investor. We generally purchase the stock by on the basis of the details given in the balance sheet and annual report. But now with the annual report and balance sheets, are fabricated, then we have to rely on which data or we can refer to which uh, uh, data. And in future, any new regulation uh, going to come up which can stop uh, this activity. So, Mr. Tulsir, a very valid question there. Really, uh, if those balance sheets and annual reports are not to be believed, uh, what does the investor really go by? And of course, uh, what will protect them in the future? No, let me first confess here that we are all slaves of the balance sheet and the A4 sheets, you know, which we get every quarter from all the companies, whether Satyam or maybe for that matter, any listed companies on the stock exchanges. And it is true that, you know, so unless until you held the responsible people, which could be the auditors, which could be the bankers in this case, and give them the, the severe penalty, I do not think that any precedents will get set. And then only you can really expect the true uh, uh, or the transparent disclosure from the company and even when the uh, uh, executive executive directors, executives, whole time employees and even the independent directors who have the good credibility and track record, even if they have not been able to, I think we analysts are really helpless and definitely some need, some stringent measures need to be sure. needs to be introduced, which, which I hope will be introduced by the Institute of Chartered Accountants of India, SEBI, or maybe the uh, Minister, Department of Company Affairs. Absolutely. Yeah. In fact, uh, that need for uh, better corporate governance and vigilance really becoming a big issue that's going to come out of uh, this uh, scam. Stay with us. Uh, we're also going to be talking to a former member of SEBI, Mr. Tulsian. Thank you. Stay with us. We're going to be coming back with more queries and what our viewers have been writing into us.